For the last seven years, Anela Mabija has been building his furniture business, MBJ Brothers. Then COVID hit and his business took a slum. He tried to get government assistance but was denied. He is now rebuilding, needing half a million rand for machines and buildings. Nothing was happening. We don't get any help from uh, SMMEs. Uh, when we go there, they want th stuff that we don't have, like your applications. There are some things that we don't have, uh, have there. What they want. That's why some of the other businesses, they gave up. The same story is heard in other small businesses in various industries across the province. Prohibitive administration processes are making small businesses give up applying for government assistance. We, we feel that they are not just doing enough, you know, to, to support and to help us. Yes, sometimes me, I'm fortunate, you know, sometimes, but what about the other guys? The president actually focuses mostly on uh, big money. There's nothing wrong in focusing on big money. The only problem is now is neglecting the people on the ground level, people actually that are building the country from the roots up. This SMME support centre says government do support SMMEs, but they need to do much more to see real change in the industry. One of the biggest challenges they are facing is funding, funding to expand their business, funding to buy equipment and machinery so that they can uh, increase their capacity for their production. All eyes on the President on Thursday, hoping he will announce real interventions and action plans for small businesses. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.